the thing that allows you to feel better after a breakup is making peace with that breakup. And that may seem completely at odds with the idea of getting someone back. You might say, Matt, I don't want to make peace with this. I'm not at peace with this. I need to have this person back in my life. And I would argue you want this person back in your life, but you don't need it. You will be happy with or without this person, especially if this person is communicating that they don't want to be with you. The panic induced by thinking we need someone back in our lives is what makes us go to desperate measures that usually hurt rather than help our cause. So we now call them incessantly, text them, stay in touch with them. You say we're still able to converse and text. I'm not sure it's such a good thing. When you show that you're willing to constantly converse and text with someone, you're still micro dosing on that drug yourself, which is leaving you wounded every time. And you're allowing them to micro dose on that drug, which is giving them their fix without them actually having to pay the price for that security. So now what we do is through that communication, we kind of lock ourselves into a limbo cycle with them. You know, limbo can exist prior to a relationship when two people don't know where they're going, but they're together all the time, they're sleeping together, they're nourishing each other, nurturing each other in some way enough to get their fix. But now all of a sudden the guy doesn't feel the need to actually graduate this to anything because there's no need. Well, limbo can also exist after a relationship. You can regress to limbo when someone breaks up with you and now you still contact them, you still text them, you still call them because you have the illusion that this is bringing you closer to someone by staying in touch. And it might not be. In fact, what it can be doing is actually uh, paralyzing you in this position of being close enough to feel connected, but him still keeping you at arm's length because he realizes, well, she's still there. So I don't need to do anything more. I don't need to worry about her going elsewhere. I don't need her to worry about her going and building a life without me because I can tell that she is still there. And that's the really dangerous part. So you want him back. You don't need him back. And if we want someone back, then we can make peace with the situation, right? It's not giving up, it's letting go. It's not giving up. You, many people think in a breakup, oh, if I don't try and try and try and try, I'm giving up on the relationship. You're not giving up, you're letting go. Letting go, the difference is you're saying, if this person doesn't want me, I'm gonna make peace with that. What I am gonna do, however, is the things that allow me to sleep at night. So after a breakup, one thing that allows us to sleep at night is 